Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have the final video of the day probably and yes, uh, the dev was updated during the day, uh, we had some data mines and some interesting findings as well so I just went, want to just add it up in one video, it's going to be a short one, there isn't much, uh, expect the dev to be like big updated or fully updated during the next week um, for now there is some smaller things but it is still cool to actually take a look so the first thing is that in the Mirage 4000 yes guys now we can take eight magic twos that's right eight magic twos so let's just show to you guys you can actually take this drop tank as you see right here and take the two missiles as well if you want to if you don't don't want to um, take the other ones and then you can take a super 530 in the middle there which is the oddest thing ever so let's just show to you guys so basically nine missiles so a very very cool guys look at this one super 530f in the middle and then eight magics and uh, the weirdest part is that you can choose to take the two extra magics over here in each pylon without the fuel but uh, the fuel tank is still there but if you want to take the fuel you just choose this one drop tank for example and then it will substitute uh, for the same loadout but now the fuel tank is filled so that's pretty pretty amazing um, if you take a look on to here you can also take a 2500 a liter tank and uh, it's yes as big as you thought it would be I mean oh my Jesus Christ that's a huge <laughs> huge tank yeah that, that really is a huge tank so uh, let's just show to you guys how this is in a flight hold up and you can take I mean you can take like three super 530 F's right which would be kind of weird anyway right this would be the interceptor lineup way better than the original one that was already in the game uh, 20 minutes and the, they increased the fuel consumption at least they added uh, more external fuel tanks which is something that it's always a good thing because uh, I mean look at this guys this thing carries basically no fuel whatsoever let me actually turn it on the, the Mirage 4000 um, fuel consumption over here because it takes the same amount of fuel almost that's crazy man limited fuel it takes the same amount of fuel with two little 500 liter tanks as internally look at that it's 19 minutes and then you can take 20 minutes inside the tank inside the aircraft this doesn't make any sense man this aircraft is it, it barely has any fuel inside it that they, they probably will increase that I mean I'm sure but it's pretty efficient as you see even with two afterburners it's not like too bad a little thing that I don't know if you guys noticed is that depending on the RWR it's actually showing kinda the distance uh, of the target as you see for example of that Tunguska locking me up so yeah I wonder if I drop the tanks no I cannot drop the tanks let's try to fire the missiles so I'm firing the missiles as you see right there and then it drops the the tanks that doesn't make any sense so they need to work on that because you need to be able to choose if you're going to fire or drop the tank or not so that's kind of weird but yeah the second thing that they added is an interesting one I gotta say um, the cockpit for the F-18 uh, the F-18 <laughs> not yet right uh, the F-15 so if you go to a battle over here we can see the new cockpit for the F-15A uh, which is very interesting actually it looks older than the C variant that uh, we have in DCS for example have very narrow a uh, HUD of course um, and just very little like screens you know because of the time frame of this aircraft so yeah very very cool to see this this is going to be a cool aircraft for flying in simulator battles as you know and yeah let's see the canopy closing so very very cool it's the only two that I found that did the change it properly because um, the S-227 didn't get anything else uh, the other ones didn't get anything else no cockpit yet 
no new skins, no anything. And it's still the same loadouts and everything like that. So that's pretty much what it is, right? Uh, so yeah, very cool, but it's cool that they are updating, um, you know, with this stuff. We have the data mines from Gazabi and Osh Oshida over here, the part one. There isn't too many things to talk about, I gotta say. Uh, it's the only things that we already knew. So I'm not gonna even lose too much time on this thing because there, there isn't much. Uh, you know, they added the, the, the modifications for the MiG-23s that they are changing the way that you can actually get the research points for of it. Uh, so yeah, there's that. There's some modifications on the aircraft. The, they added some new bombs and missiles for some aircraft, as you see over here. So it's just normal things. Uh, nothing too crazy. You know, st stuff they already showed, actually. So, yeah, pretty much that it is. Uh, the only thing that I think it matters here, uh, the SMT got a little bit lighter, as you see. Um, so there is that. Not by much, but it will help a little bit with the turning capability of it. Uh, they added for these aircraft the SPO2 RWR, for example, even the F5 got it, so very cool. Things that were already in the files or uh, in the changelog, right? Some other weird stuff, like for example, uh, working progress 76mm Sheridan, so very, very weird, like very weird. And in the unused, uh, you know, stuff um, in the files. We had some weird things like yeah of course they added the you know the mirage drop tanks and stuff some other like decorations and stuff uh the the shattered them with the 76 as you see over here and then we have for example the gbu 10b being added for the gripen the mirage 4000 with the super 530d hopefully that ca that gets added because the five uh, the, the f variant is just a really bad missile uh, it's actually a pretty good missile, but the problem is that it's really easy to avoid it. Some other aircraft, as you see over here, the A6E sweep. So, you know, it's there in the files apparently, on the assets, but it is not in the game yet. The F2A finish, uh, possibly the Humu. I think it, this is a prop, if I'm not mistaken. Um, maybe for an event or something. And then we have the J9, Chinese and Swedish. I, I really don't know what aircraft this is but still i think it's it, it might not be that important but still let's wait and see tiger e for hungary the Suntaro, um 2 mgs scimitar for the uk which is interesting uh a scimitar not the scimitar aircraft you know the scimitar tank which is quite interesting the vilkas of course the apc ifv slash whatever you know and then some naval vehicles as well um, and then some other minor things, you know, they added, they, they, they removed the Dragonfly B-99, for example, for the events and stuff. Nothing too crazy, okay? Uh, but yeah, very, very cool, guys. Another weird thing is that they changed it, the T-90 OBR 2020 to a 2017. So this is kind of a theory that I have. Um, although we don't have, uh, you know, confirmation, I don't think they use the Arena APS um, in the T90Ms in service right now. I mean, we have Challenger 3s, man. That doesn't matter. So, um, being in service or not, it kind of doesn't matter. So, they might add a new T90M later down the line with an APS together with a sub V3 or V4, uh, other ver versions of the 2A7 uh, with the Plus, for example, or something like that. We can see more tanks being added to the rank 8 um, in the future, I think. Uh, or something like that. That would be, to be honest, kind of cool. Uh, and that's basically it, guys. So as you see, nothing too crazy, but there are some interesting things uh, that were oh, worth to talk about, right? Let's wait and see for tomorrow, and especially on Monday, Tuesday, uh, when they probably will update with maybe the new Gripen or something like that, uh, that we can actually talk about, right? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe, and if nothing changes, this will be the last video for today, so I see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. See ya.